Thursday. Welcome to another crafty decor adventure. Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I'm sharing with you some Dollar Tree DIY decor projects. Listen, I have my little trusty assistant, Benji Bear, here. He's been keeping an eye out. We just recently got through a tornado warning. Everything is okay, though. Um, but we're going to do some crafting and decorating today, especially since we're in the house and it's just been pouring cats and dogs. Literally, so much rain is going on here. But also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me over on Facebook. Listen, I'm giving away a $100 Amazon gift card. The details will be in my description box of my video. And also I'll drop a secret question. And hey, everybody, we did have a secret question in the last video and it was everybody was introducing themselves. So it's so nice to meet everybody. Anyway, let's get into the crafts. Let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to craft. For this first Dollar Tree DIY, we are gonna be creating a beautiful wooden tray. And I'm using this Dollar Tree sign. It's just the spring sign, but really any little board or sign will do. And then I'm taking two of the Dollar Tree Tumbling Tower block games, and you'll find these in the kids section. I'm just beginning to glue the wood pieces to the sign. And at first I thought that making a pattern would be really cool on this. And then I ran into just a tiny bit of trouble at the end and I will explain, but you're just gonna continue to blue, glue your blocks on. However, I would suggest to lay this all out first and not just go free gluing like I did. I just went kind of crazy and made this really cool creative pattern and then you can see kind of as I'm getting towards the edge on the bottom that oops I need to cut some blocks to fit in there so anyway just continue to glue your blocks and um, have fun with it and listen you guys this actually comes out really really amazing in the end and it was almost a craft that I just gave up on. I did have to ask though Mr. Romantic for help. He did have to come to my rescue on this one, which very, very rarely happens with my crafting sessions. But I have this little small cutting tool that I use for small projects like this, and it was lost in Craftland, the ever abyss of Craftland, as you guys know. So he had to big, get out the big guns. And anyway, the next step for me was to finish gluing all of my blocks in, and then we're gonna go in later and trim them off. But I did get started staining this just to see how the blocks would hold the stain. I've never created this before, but I think that this is really a fun one to do if you have the opportunity and if you have an old piece of wood laying around and all of the Dollar Trees should carry these tumbling tower blocks again in the kids section. Now once I had it stained and I had trimmed the little edges off, I did take this light sanding tool and sand over this. And I will tell you that my friend Megan over at Glue Guns and Roses did a similar wooden um, tray piece. Now for the hand she used this really cool uh, Dollar Tree um, ribbon rope, or not rope ribbon, leather ribbon rope <laughs> anyway for her handles but I just used some nautical rope and two little cubes that I had stained and that went on there perfectly and voila we have a fabulous little wooden chic tray on a total budget I think total cost for this you know would be four dollars maybe plus the stain but you guys could always paint it and if you love that boho chic look or a little bit of a rustic flair which I have loved always mixing girly with rustic and all different kinds of styles together. I think it just give your gives your eye more dimension to look at. So here's how it came out. I thought it was fun and fabulous on a total budget. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, this is actually a Dollar Tree hack and a DIY combined into one. So you're going to take a Dollar Tree pool noodle and you're just going to slice it down the center and then a Dollar Tree hula hoop and you're going to press that noodle onto the hula hoop. I did end up using two of the Dollar Tree noodles. However, I didn't um, use both of them, just like one and a half basically. Now. Now I'm going to take and I'm just going to hot glue some burlap around my wreath and that's going to cover up the foam or if you have a ton of flowers you could just completely cover it with flowers. But I wanted to have like kind of like a little, little bit of a rustic chic look. Now I had popped into my local thrift store and found some greenery garland for $1.25 and when I was checking out they commented on it and they said wow this is a great deal for $1.25 and I thought to myself yes if you only knew how many crafts and beautiful projects 
projects I'm creating and this is really going to help me save a buck. So I'm just taking some zip ties and I'm zip tying the greenery garland around the wreath. And now let me tell you that Dollar Tree is carrying some amazing, beautiful greenery. I also find really beautiful greenery at Hobby Lobby. Look for their sales. They do have 50% off sales constantly. Um, and then Michael's carries greenery as well as Walmart. So you guys just check it out. Now I'm taking some of this Dollar Tree kind of, it's like a dangling, really pretty kind of flowy spring flower. And I added a bundle of that to um, one side and then a bundle of that to the top side. So kind of cascading in and around both sides of the wreath, but giving it plenty of space because this is an extra large wreath and there's no way you could buy a grapevine base for you know, $3 is basically what it costs to make this um, as far as the base is concerned. Now I'm taking these florals. Now these were left over from Michael's from the beginning of the year and they're just some pretty roses. I had them in an arrangement and I ended up changing out my arrangement. So I added them to this wreath. The next thing I want to do is make a quick and easy bow. So I'm using this ribbon. I found this ribbon from burlapfabric.com. They actually sent it to me probably about two years ago, honestly, you guys, it's just been sitting in my stash and I thought, you know, I really want to make something with more neutral tones. So I'm using my easy bow maker and I'm just going back and forth and it's going to be about a seven inch bow on each side, or you guys can make an Olivia bow. Super easy. No tools required for that one. You guys can check the link in my description box for that bow video, but make yourself a big fabulous bow. If your hands are tired, whip out your bow maker. If you're in the mood to tie one, go ahead and tie one. So now that my easy bow is done, I'm just going to zip tie it together and then pop it on to my wreath. Now, let me tell you, this is an extra large wreath. So this is fabulous to hang on the side of your house if you have a large door. Um, I hung this actually in my crafting studio. Now it may get moved around to my living room, possibly. Um, I do love having a wreath on the door from my dining room to my living room. But now I made a quick little loopy bow here and attached that and then voila, here we have this fabulous wreath on a total budget. No one would ever know that that was a hula hoop and a pool noodle. And if you don't have burlap fabric, dig into your fabric stash or grab an old white t-shirt. You can cut it into strips and wrap that around your wreath. I have done that so many times when I didn't have the right colored fabric. I'll just look into some old clothes or old fabric pieces. Even our thrift store has like a bin of drop cloths. And a lot of times I'll pick that up for making like rag wreath, wreaths or rag garlands. So always be thrifty and creative in how you approach everything. Fun and fabulous on a budget. <laughs> For this Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to create a fabulous tablecloth garland. This is going to be weatherproof, so it's going to be amazing for any outdoor space. Okay, so take a Dollar Tree tablecloth out of its package and don't unfold it. Just make it to where it's like long wise. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut strips. And you do want to leave about four inches at the top. And you're going to cut into about eight to 10 inches of the square. Then you can unfold it. And I did this actually two ways. So this is the first way that I did this. I just unfolded it and then I took it and I folded it back together and I folded it again. And then you can just take and you can roll it into your little tassel. So I hope that makes sense. If you guys need to pause it and rewind this to look at that again, it's so super easy, but basically now all your little tassels are going to be hanging down this way. And this way, the tassels are really nice and full. So I really do love this look. And then I'm going to share with you guys another way you can do it where the tassels are just more shredded looking. So I am taking some zip ties to zip tie the end. So you want to fold the end over to where you have a little loop and then just add your zip tie and trim that off. And voila, you have a fabulous little tassel on a total budget. They're going to be weatherproof. Now let me share with you guys another way. Okay, so make sure that you're leaving yourself four inches at the top because you do want to have a large enough loop to be able to string your string through. Again, you're going to cut your tassels same way as before and cut about eight to 10 inches across here. I kind of eyeballed it, honestly, and the squares on the tablecloth are about eight to 10 inches. So it's kind of a cheat sheet. Unfold your cut and then cut it straight down the center. Super easy, you guys. Voila. That's all you have to do. And then you can separate it again if you want um, and cut it one more time. 
So then you're just going to take and layer them all on the top. So here's that second cut. You're just going to cut through that tablecloth and then you can layer them all together to where the tassel is all kind of facing out. So you should have four pieces to layer on top of each other. I hope this is making sense. Now you're going to take and just roll it it's super easy. Like you're rolling up a good old fashioned burrito. And then once you have that, you're going to take and bend the little top part over. And I used zip ties. Now I know that you can also use staples. However, I feel like the staples would have been hard to get through this amount of plastic. And plus I could not find my stapler anywhere. Mr. Romantic didn't have one in his office. So we went with zip ties and it worked just fine. Plus it's also weatherproof. So anyway, if this is going to be a little birthday party outside or an outdoor get together, now you're going to take some string and string it through. And you may need to use your pencil or a pen or a little something to kind of poke that string through, but don't push too hard to where your tassel comes undone. So here it is all strung up. I think this is so fun. And you can see, I kind of layered in the different tassels to just share with you guys how they look hanging. So you can see the fluffier, larger ones are actually the ones that we didn't cut. And then the ones that are more stretched are the ones that we did cut so it's up to you you guys can look back on the video and see which style you like the best but I wanted to share both of them with you and so again this would be fun and fabulous for any party Dollar, Car Dollar Tree carries all kinds of tablecloths and these are the plastic tablecloths so super easy to find and to use now for this next DIY, I thought I would share with you guys a super easy way to make like a little rag garland. So I'm taking with a little Dollar Tree light up um, light pieces that are battery operated. And then I'm going to take this Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm cutting it about 10 inches long. About 10 to 12 inches really is how long I needed to cut mine to get it to not in the center. Um, but basically we're just going to take this and we're going to... Um, tie it on to our little lighted garland and you guys can use any ribbon you love you can use strips of fabric whatever suits your fancy and floats your boat whatever you have in your stash I had this ribbon hanging out in my stash forever and I will tell you it may be kind of easier to do with not wired ribbon because this ribbon from Dollar Tree is wired and I will tell you I used four rolls of ribbon plus the little battery operated lights from Dollar Tree. And so it was a $5 project, which I thought was pretty fabulous because I saw one of these in a decor store and it was $25 for a lighted rag garland. And I thought, oh my goodness, we can totally make this on a budget. So now you're just gonna take and you're gonna tie a little knot and then your little um, garland is going to begin to take shape. Now, I did think that this greenery light up piece was so cute and actually a sweet friend of mine said, Sent this to me thank you um, but listen I could not find really any way that I wanted to use it with the greenery on it and I knew it'd be kind of pretty with the greenery peeking through like a little peekaboo um, so I didn't like push them all the way together I kind of left a little space so it could kind of cascade in and around and I was really excited to find a way to use this and just a fun idea for you guys and you guys can really think about these could be for 4th of July, just make them red, white, and blue. You could make these for a baby shower, a bridal shower, really whatever, you know, space you want to decorate. And the other thing is, is Dollar Tree, um, for every holiday too, will select the plug-in little small Christmas lights. And that may have even worked better because it would have been a brighter light shining through. Now I did check this in the evening time and you could see the lights. So it turned out actually really pretty. And again, so easy on a total budget. You guys can totally do this. This craft could be for all ages no hot glue required just a lot of tying and cutting <laughs> For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a beautiful, amazing Pottery Barn dupe basket. We're going to make a smaller version. I did make a larger version a couple videos back, but you're just going to take a Dollar Tree Flower and Garden 10, and I just popped the little handles off. And then using about four bundles of nautical rope, you can just take and begin to hot glue the nautical rope at the base, and then just begin to work your way around. So I do find when I'm beginning this, it's easy to kind of, it's easier to flip it over to get 
get it started and then you can kind of lean it on its side as you glue along and I do also kind of push the nautical rope down into the next one and then once I get to the top of this I do like to do a nice little lip around the top and that way it actually looks more like a basket and less like a metal tin and you could even use an old pillowcase to pop down inside of it for a liner I thought about that once I got done with it and I was like oh, I should have done that first and then I would have had it lined anyway you can also take three pieces of Dollar Tree nautical rope, braid them together, and then you have some braided handles. And this was so easy to do, you guys. Um, and then you just hot glue your little handles onto the side of your basket. And here is how my basket looks after I got the little handle on. I think it's looking really cute. And then I just hot glued another side of the ropes to the other side. So it looks like it has really cute little handles. And let me tell you, they're selling these online at Pottery Barn. And I'm sure they may be a little bit larger and maybe a little bit more professional looking, but they're like $50 to $150. And we did this on a total budget, maybe five, six bucks at the most. And you guys have a really cute little Pottery Barn dupe it can go so easily into any little space I just popped some flowers into it in this cute little beaded piece and I popped it on top of my little rustic chic tray that we DIY'd and so oh my goodness I was just so excited for how this came out I thought it was really pretty and I think I may display it in the fall next to my larger basket with some pretty um, little mini signs in it now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I have to share with you guys a super easy hack and DIY for how to create a really cute little tassel. So while I was working on my basket craft, I saw that the Dollar Tree nautical rope tends to fray. I thought, wow, that would be the perfect tassel. So you just take the Dollar Tree nautical rope and begin to pull it apart and then bam, you have like an instant tassel <laughs> so however much um you know space or however long that you want your tassel to be i did two pieces so you just take and pull it apart and then just kind of like you know fluff it out and then you guys have an amazing little tassel and then i just set mine aside once i had got it it like pulled apart because i decided i wanted to make like a little beaded piece again i saw this on pottery barn website and i think it was like $40 for a beaded piece with like a rope tassel on the end and I was like oh my goodness we can totally do this on a budget and I will tell you also um, that I got my beads off of Amazon now Dollar Tree also carries beads however their beads are colored and I wanted this to be a little bit more rustic chic so I will link some beads in my Amazon store and you guys can check out my Amazon store it's Olivia's Romantic Home Amazon it's in the description box below but I'm just taking some wire and I'm stringing my little wooden beads on the wire now if you're super patient you can also paint these and make them look like sea glass I wasn't that patient today but I may do that in the future now I'm just taking the wire and you just wrap it around that first bead and that creates the end of your bead you don't have to glue anything it stays on perfectly and bam <laughs> so easy on a budget so here we go now we've got our little dollar tree nautical rope tassel and i'm just taking a piece of twine and i'm going to tie the tassel on to the twine now this may be not maybe wasn't like the best approach but to me it was the easiest approach so you use wire to string your beads and you just use nautical rope to make your tassel and voila you have one of those really cool tassel pieces that you guys see everywhere hobby lobby you know they're they just look really neat and i think it would be fun too to like put these on a bible next to a cross or you know just wherever you guys want to put it i popped it in my little rope basket and there we could have it we have this fabulous little piece on a total budget we didn't have to spend you know 40 plus dollars <laughs> for one um so i hope you guys are inspired and you have fun with this oh and the giant thing of beads on amazon i believe are 13 dollars, and i've used these beads for probably six months to a year now so it's a huge pack well worth the 13 dollars 
Now for this next DIY, I'm gonna take one of these little plastic trays and you guys can pick these up at the Dollar Tree or at Dollar General or wherever you can find like a larger plastic tray. And I had this beautiful aqua spray paint in my stash and it says bonds to plastic. So look for the Rust-Oleum cans that say bond to plastic because this is a plastic tray. You can also lay down a layer of spray Mod Podge first. It was a rainy day, so I did get a drip on one side of it that I had to let dry, but I'm giving it a nice, healthy dose of spray paint and I did go back in and do another coat once this coat had dried but I think this is so beautiful and this is that pottery barn blue that you're going to see on their website now I layered on top of my tray with this little vintage white tray and then I also saw that pottery barn was like setting up like a just a little tray of candles and their candles are like you guys, they're like $35, $39 a piece for LED candles. So let me tell you, go on Amazon. And again, I'll link some of my Amazon store. You guys can just find them anywhere at Walmart, um, Dollar General, but they'll come straight to your house. I order mine on Amazon. They come with a battery remote timer. They last forever <laughs> and they're amazing. They're so foolproof. They're safe for pets and kids and you guys have a beautiful tray and it just looks so elegant and you didn't have to do anything except for have a pretty tray, some candles, and then I'm sharing with you guys how you could use like seashells around it for a very fabulous summer beach vibe. And then here's another idea. I didn't want to like pull everything apart, but you can take some of those fake lemons and limes. You can also order these off of Amazon. Um, but you can add those in and around your tray or you can use Dollar Tree stones. So as always, I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreating? And the secret question is, where is your favorite summer vacation spot? And if you don't get to go on vacation this year, what is your favorite place to dream about going on vacation? Um, I would love to hear in the comments below. That will give you guys an entry into the $100 Amazon gift card giveaway that I'm going to be hosting for you guys and I just want to thank you guys for being here and also when I mentioned that we had a tornado warning earlier in the day it is now a sunny day um, way 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 later and everything is all good so nobody was harmed in our little warning <laughs>